Hello, I'm Lim95, and today I'm going to be showing you my new, my newest creation. This, well not this exactly, but pretty much th this is Double, my own programming language that I created on stream. So, I'm going to just show off some programs, and while I'm doing that, show you how it works. So, this is the simplest program that you can write. It's three instructions. And it simply prints out every character it can. Now we're going to set the speed lower to go faster, which is kind of weird, but other than that, we're just gonna... So this is the entire character set. This one right here is really the entire character set. But that is the simplest program that you can write. Some other simple programs that people... Now... Here is a Hello World program. Now, here's a Hello World program in, like, let's say that here is a Hello World program in JavaScript. Console.log Hello World. Here's a Hello World program in double. That's not a Hello World program. That's a Hello World program. Now I slow it down, and you may be even noticing that it's skipping over those numbers. You may be wondering what SV and PC and you know, these numbers do. Well, SV has an opcode. You don't care about the opcode, but it just sets the value of the current cell. Now it's the cell. This thing right here. If I slow it all the way down and setting the value, it, it it sets the value. It works on a 2D array. It's like this would be a memory. This would be a memory. And, like, something you could do is have, like, a memory for a BF interpreter up here, and then have, like, actual data for the interpreter down here. That way, you can still have your two separate... In fact, you could have... You could use every single one of these values. It's a 256 by 256 grid. By showing you... To prove to you that's a 256 by 256 grid, I'll write another program. You increment the X and you set the x to be the value, and you do a conditional restart if x is not ff. Otherwise, you just print the value. Reset, run. So it's going up. It's going fast. So a conditional restart basically restarts the program if the current value is not equal to the value specified. So if the current value of the cell is not FF, then it will restart. If it is FF, then it will not restart. Some other simple programs are an interpreter for the SOLing hello, which is very simple. If you enter D, it doesn't work. If you enter B, it doesn't work. If you enter H, it prints hello world. Yes, that's a real thing. The same person that made this website also made an adder program before it had conditional jumps. So you enter a hex value of Let's just say 10. Let's just say we want 10 plus 10. 20. Let's say we want 255 plus 7. And it gives me 6. Cancel and cancel does nothing. There's a cat program, which, if you don't know what a cat program is, it is a popular program for these languages to make, and it's just that you type something, and then it spits it back at you. With an extra exclamation mark. I don't know why. Let's say you want to make a more complicated program than just these. Well, let's say you want the Fibonacci sequence. Also, made by the same person that made this website. They are better at my own programming than works with me. Look, it's, it's doing the Fibonacci sequence. Now, I stop it. I reset it. And I just step through it. So it sets the value to 1. And it increments the X. And it sets the value to 1. And it decrements the X. And it increments the Y. And it decrements the value. And it increments X. Increments the value. Increment x, increment value, decrement x, decrement x, do a conditional jump, 
increment x, increment value, increment y, set xv, and do a conditional jump. And that, that's how you make the Fibonacci sequence. It, you can see that's moving along. And this is probably the, the most impressive program that's been written so far. Like, just because... I personally... Wait, why is... Get a little as well. 